Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Cap Filmmaker. In today's episode, we're taking a look at that Deadpool Wolverine healing effect. Let's dive in. For this effect, you're going to need two pieces of footage. One for your background. Which can be in or out of focus depending on your shot. And one from behind your subject. I could have hollowed my shirt to better blend it, but you don't have to. With that out of the way, let's hop into After Effects. Okay, so we're going to hop into After Effects and create a new composition with our subject layer. Next, head up to the tracker panel and select Track Motion. Be sure to check the boxes for position, rotation, and scale. Now, move these points to each track point on your back. Then, hit the play button and just let After Effects do its thing. Once it's done, head up to the Layer tab and select Create New Null Object. Then, rename it to Track. Select Edit Target and select the new null object that we just created. Hit Apply and then press OK. Next, head back up to the Layer panel and select Create New Solid. Make sure it's white and call it Matte. Next, disable its visibility and draw a rough mask in the shape of the hole. This will be the shape of the wound. Now you can re-enable its visibility. Next, right click and select Precompose. Be sure to select Move All Attributes and rename it to Interior. In the precomp, create a new solid. Make this one red and rename it to Texture. Make sure the matte layer is above the texture layer and set the blend mode to Silhouette Alpha. This will put a hole in the red solid layer. Now animate the scale property on the matte layer to make it get smaller over time. This will be the speed at which the wound heals. Next, right click on the final keyframe, select Keyframe Resistant, Easy Ease. This will make the animation look smoother. Now, pre-compose the texture and matte layers. Make sure to select Move All Attributes again. Now, head up to the effects controls and search for Fractal Noise and apply it to the pre-comp. Now, add a tint effect and edit it to get the right color that you want. I went for a slightly lighter red to a darker red with not very much contrast, but you can make your own look how you want it to. Once you're finished, add the Roughen Edges effect. Set the border to 60 and the type to spiky. This will create the regeneration effect that we're going for. Now, duplicate the precomp. Scale the bottom one down so it appears within the top one. Then, apply a curves effect to the bottom one and make it slightly darker. This will create a very interesting depth effect. You can also play around with the position and scale of the bottom layer to get the right angle that you're going for. Now, head back into one of the precomps and copy the matte layer using Ctrl C. Then, paste it into the interior comp. Now, re import your subject layer into the interior comp and place it below the matte layer. Now, pre compose the subject and matte layers. Once again, check Move All Attributes. To make things easier, disable the visibility on the matte layer. Now we have to remove the tracking points. Simply duplicate the subject layer a couple times, mask around a point that doesn't have a dot on it, and then move that over the dots. Be sure to feather the mask to blend it better with the actual skin. Once the dots have been removed, pre-compose all the subject layers. You can rename this one to Skin. Now, right-click on the skin layer, select Time, Freeze Frame. Now you can re-enable the matte layer. Head back into the interior comp and copy the rough and edges effect from the original pre-comp to the skin layer. This will create our basic healing effect. Now to keep everything tidy, rename all the pre-comps to back, front, and skin respectively. Now select the front layer, head up to the layer panel, select layer styles, bevel, and emboss. This will add a nice glossy finish to the front layer. Now, head back into the main comp and use the pick whip tool to parent the interior layer to the original track null that we made earlier. This will make the hole follow the movement of the footage layer. Now, use the elliptical mask tool to draw a mask around the hole. This will make sure that we only see the hole and not the entire freeze frame. Draw a similar elliptical mask on the subject layer and set it to subtract. This will allow us to see through the hole. Now, import your background footage layer and place it below the subject. You can animate the mask on the subject layer to follow the hole so that there's no gaps peeking through. Now, head back into the interior comp and add an adjustment layer. 
Add the curves effect and lower the brightness to better match it with the scene. Now, duplicate the front and back layers a couple times to make more layers of depth. Be sure that each subsequent layer is slightly darker than the last. This will create a real depth effect that makes the effect really realistic. Then, just do a bit of color grading, and with that, your effect should be completed. Let's have a look. You're still here? It's over. Click away. Go on.